this is the part that blows me is like the amount of security they have, the amount of money they have to, why wasn't there more police presence? Like you, you had this massive protest that was going to be happening near the Capitol Hill building. And they didn't think to go, we should bulk up security and have a real perimeter. Like why that's a perimeter you put up at like a Coachella concert. Like that's not, you know what I mean? That's the I mean, that's people in line. That's not to actually prevent something bad from happening. That's, Talking about so much, like, oh, Trump supporters, you know, like, doing all this crazy stuff. It's like, I mean, BLM was doing that months ago, and, like, Antifa, and... Well, look it, at the response. Was, they had, was well, it, it the... Yeah. There's a picture going around, but they had, like, the whole National Guard was lining the steps, it looked like, of, of the, the Capitol building. And so I'm not sure where where they were this time around. And I guess hindsight is twenty twenty. But then maybe they just assumed, you know, it's never happened at a right wing protest. So I guess we don't have to. <laughs> Those are the ones you should be worried about. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe, maybe, not, or maybe it hasn't, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, not that If you knew there was going to be 50,000 of anybody and you know about human psychology and you know about mob mentality and you know that about agent provocateurs and all this stuff's known to people that are or at least it should be known to people in power. And I would imagine the military, National Guard, everybody there would have been prepped and knowledgeable about this type of stuff. And they had nothing prepared for this. Like it just like literally that's the, the perimeter they set up. They knew for weeks there was going to be a rally talk. Yeah, no. So this is the point. Like they did know for weeks there was going to be a rally. This has been promoted. They had merchandise made was my understanding. And so that's where I get hung up. I'm like, what is going on where... It seems a little shady. Is that what you think? Yeah, let's keep going through it. There's a, a few more videos um, that we got lined up. What does it say here? An eyewitness report that those who stormed the Capitol was Antifa opposing as Trump supporters. So now this is one person's opinion again. Now, it doesn't paint the whole picture because there's a lot of other videos and stuff that have gone around, but let's hear what he has to say. Hi there. There, uh, this guy saw we what just happened. Uh, he claims that it was Antifa dressed as Proud Boys. So I want to sort of get his Trump story. supporters. Trump supporters. They were dressed as Trump supporters. But I could tell by their conversation that they were looking to do. And I heard him say, "We got to shake this up so that these people look bad." And I saw them break a window on the Capitol. I'm an emergency management coordinator in uh, Lehigh County, Pennsylvania, and these people were talking amount, amongst themselves, and I was standing and listening behind them what they could do to make Trump's people look bad. Wow, well, thank you for sharing. And then after I left, I'm like, I'm out of here, okay? And then I started walking away. I heard something else. I heard that somebody trying to, them trying to break another window. I don't know if they actually broke the second window, but I heard something hit a second window. Did you see any of the mob violence that happened? Uh, that, yeah, I was, I was, that was on the other side of the Capitol building. So there were people climbing up the scaffolding, and uh, a, a lot of Trump's people started saying, "This something's these these aren't our people," and started walking away. And they were tearing the plastic, cutting the plastic, and uh, then they, uh, the, the, the Capitol police uh, let some tear gas go. And so there we go. That's one. Again, now he, you're natural uh, to give a little context to this. You're always going to think your side's not the problem. So when he says, I don't think, you know, Trump people were saying, I imagine there was Trump supporters saying this isn't our people. I imagine that did happen and that they didn't agree with it at all. But at the same time, we'll go into a little bit more, but let's just keep firing through the videos. Like mob mentality changes things. I'll just leave it at that. And take,